The Battle of the Scheldt Estuary is a military operation undertaken mainly by the Canadian Armed Forces to liberate northwestern Belgium and the southwestern Netherlands from Nazi troops. It took place between October 2 and November 8, 1944. After several days of fighting, the Allied forces began to experience serious difficulties. There was not enough ammunition, food, fuel and lubricants, medicines. Therefore, the British and Canadians urgently needed to seize a large and not destroyed by hostilities port in Belgium. Antwerp met these requirements, but it stood 80 kilometers from the seacoast, to which the ships went through the mouth of the Scheldt River. This path was completely shot through by German artillery located on the island of Walcheren. The 1st Canadian Army began an operation to clear the mouth of the Scheldt from German troops. At the same time, British units launched a major offensive in the eastern direction and entered the southern regions of the Netherlands. On September 17, the Dutch operation, Market Garden, began, which ended unsuccessfully for the Allies. The hopes of the Western Allies for the near end of the Second World War in 1944 were finally dispelled. The battle for the mouth of the Scheldt began on October 2. The total number of Allied troops reached 450,000 people. The territory where the fighting was taking place was a swampy, rugged terrain, heavily fortified by the Germans. The Canadians had to fight north of the mouth of the Scheldt, divided into the peninsulas of Nord Beveland, Sud Beveland and, in fact, the island of Walcheren, which was heavily fortified by the Germans, located between them. On October 2, the 2nd Canadian Infantry Division went on the offensive north of Antwerp. At the same time, the 3rd Canadian Infantry Division, reinforced by the 4th Canadian Armoured Division, began advancing and crossing the Leopold Canal. Heavy fighting broke out in both directions with German units well entrenched here. At the same time, Operation Vitality was also developing. The 4th Canadian Panzer Division advanced north of the Sud Beveland Peninsula and attacked German positions near Bergen op Zoom. The attempt to take Sud Beveland quickly and with little blood, failed, as the marshy terrain turned out to be heavily mined by the Germans. The peninsula was occupied by Allied forces by October 31, 1944. To complete the liberation of the Scheldt estuary, the Allies also had to occupy the Walcheren Peninsula operation, Infatuate. This operation was extremely complicated by the fact that the entire area around it was flooded by flooding so infantry units could not be used. After hard fighting, the Canadians managed to capture a small bridgehead on it. After the arrival of reinforcements to them, the Allies managed to expand it. On November 6, Canadian units entered Middleburg, as a result of two days of fighting in the city, its entire central part was destroyed. By mid-November, the British Navy managed to secure the maritime areas adjacent to the mouth of the Scheldt from attacks by German military boats. After the liberation of the mouth of the Scheldt and the area from Antwerp to the Meuse from the German troops stationed there, the Battle of the Scheldt ended. The first Canadian cargo convoy entered the port of Antwerp only on November 28. However, with the opening of a regular supply line for the army through the port of Antwerp, the Allies managed to solve the most important problem for themselves. 